Hey guys, so iOS 17 and developer beta 2 has been out for a couple of days now and as per usual, I'd like to come back and share with you guys my experience, additional new features and changes and I wanted to share with you guys how's everything going so far after a couple of days of testing the software. Now there's quite a bit to talk about. I've actually come across five or six additional new features and changes. I want to talk about the battery, any bug fixes and everything else in between. So let's go ahead and dive right into this one. Now as always, if you would like to stay up to date with the latest iOS news and Apple software updates, of course, and don't forget to subscribe and make sure you turn on those notifications so that you don't miss another episode. So first I want to talk about some of the latest new features that I've come across after using beta 2 for a couple of days. Then we'll jump into the battery, the performance, any bugs and things like that. And I want to start off in settings. So now if you're an Apple Fitness Plus subscriber, we have a dedicated section in settings for the fitness application. This was well overdue. As you can see right here, there is the new section for fitness. We have series settings, notifications. We also have live activities, the cell data toggle. And right here we have information on how Apple manages your data with Fitness Plus. So if you're a Fitness Plus subscriber, you now have those options you can manage directly within the settings application. Now, AirDrop received a major updates in beta 2. Apple has enabled the name drop feature. I have an entire video on everything that's new with AirDrop, but I wanted to share the name tag or the name poster sharing right here. So name drop is now just simply holding two iPhones just like so, and you can share your contact poster with your email and things like that with another user by simply holding your iPhone next to another user's iPhone well on the top of the iPhone right so the not section here or the dynamic island section and you can share that information with someone else and again I have an entire video on this feature in iOS 17 and everything that's new with airdrop it is still a little buggy name drop is still a little buggy in beta 2 but yeah it is enabled nonetheless and Apple will continue to polish this up now I want to talk about Siri because Siri continues to get new abilities number one she can now take a screenshot so take a screenshot just like so and I can also change the destination of a message so send a message to test what do you want to say? I can tap on this icon here and change the actual platform that I want to use in order to send that message along as you can see right there I can choose from all the messaging options that I have available and Siri will send that message through that platform instead of just only through iMessage which is of course a welcome change now I also want to talk about haptics so haptics basically when you long press on anything maybe an icon or an image now Apple has added an additional option to make this slightly faster which I'm happy to report because it almost feels like 3d touch remember 3d touch when you can physically press on the display and it felt a lot more natural in my opinion than haptic touch but now you can go into accessibilities here go under touch and then we have the haptics right here we now have a fast option which allows you to have that faster feedback and it feels a lot snappier and again this works throughout the entire operating system not only just icons but you can press on images text and everything like that and the 3d touch effect or the haptic touch what apple calls it it's now a lot faster in the latest beta 2 which i'm happy to report next i want to go ahead and shift my attention over to carplay and there's some new wallpapers available within carplay and i wanted to share those with you guys we have a red which is the dark and light mode version of that we also have a gray dark gray here and a light gray as well we also have i guess you can call the traditional ios 17 wallpaper as you can see light and dark mode in this beautiful blue and dark and light mode which is the one that i'm rocking on my iphone right now and all things to 9 tech 11 their website will be linked in the description you can download these for yourself if you want to grab those wallpapers they will be available thanks to them for sending the original copies and the carplay copies which are available on their website of course links will be down below now i want to talk about some of the bugs and bug fixes including the battery in iOS 17 so far. First, let's talk about some of the bug fixes. For those of you that were having issues sending SMS messages to Android users, right, the green bubbles, this has been addressed with beta 2, so now this has been fixed. I'm happy to report that in the settings application, I no longer experience any crashing. I used to see a crash every time I clicked under the music section. No longer do I see this issue in beta 2. The keyboard issue where some users reported that the keyboard would disappear entirely. A lot of users report that this issue has 
has been fixed here as well and there is two minor issues that i've noticed number one flickering within the camera on the iphone 14 pro max sometimes happens here and it sometimes crashes and the auto fill for face id credentials sometimes doesn't work properly for me even on default applications this is to be expected also third-party applications do continue to crash often on the latest beta but that is to be expected developers have yet to update their applications to be fully compatible with ios 17 other than that i want to talk about the battery because the battery in beta 1 was horrible the worst battery experience so far on my iphone but beta 2 has definitely changed that so now i actually get through my entire day using the iphone here the iphone 14 pro max there is the battery performance about eight and a half hours of use as you can see right there so this is good news we see improvements on the battery so if battery was one of your most concerns it is not perfect just yet obviously this is only beta 2 but it is a lot better we're seeing progress here and it looks like apple continues to address a lot of the bugs actually beta 2 feels a lot a lot better than beta 1 in terms of performance in terms of responsiveness battery and everything else in between and there you guys have it just a quick update on ios 17 and beta 2 hopefully we'll see the next beta here in the next couple of days stay tuned here to the channel thank you for watching guys i hope you guys have a great day and i'll see you guys on the next one peace